he came out, they were, I can't remember the, uh, uh, I can't remember the podcast he was on, but they discussed about Cody Rhodes building a resume for a Hall of Fame career for himself at this point. Mm -hmm. um, does he deserve it? Does he feel like he's in that, that trajectory? He made the statement, we've got to get chicken in. Colin, he calls his brother that, apparently. Yes. But he goes, we've got to get chicken in first, um, referencing Dustin Rhodes. Right. Now, I, before this, actually made a, I put on my Instagram stories, why is Gold Dust not in the Hall of Fame? Why is it Dustin Rhodes in the Hall of Fame? This was a couple months ago. I would like to know from you, as someone who is, not only a Hall of Fame member, but one of the greatest of all time. And I don't know how the Hall of Fame works when it comes to the voting or who actually gets put in. Do you agree with Cody Rhodes? Do you feel like that Dustin Rhodes slash Gold Dust, that character or whatever it may be, does he, do you feel like he has got a resume to be in the Hall of Fame? Absolutely. Really? Oh, well, yeah, 100%. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. No, this is a semantics thing at this point. Yeah. Uh, I, I would imagine at some point down the road, Rhodes, get that. <laughs> Look at See you. how I did that? Oh yeah, boy, I'm, I'm telling clever. You're, I'm clever today. You're made for this. I am made for this. Yeah. Uh, I got a face for radio. Uh, yeah, no, no, he's no, he he is. Uh, I think his resume is is Hall of Fame worthy. Um, obviously, we know the one stickler right now. Yeah. And I think at some point that goes away and then um, I, I couldn't see too much time probably going by that he wouldn't, he wouldn't be inducted. Um, I mean, you want to talk about a man that is dedicated to the, to the business. I mean, he's still out there wrestling, but he's got his, his academy, his school or whatever that he's teaching guys and gals. And I mean, it's, it, it's in his blood. And then on top of it, I personally think that that gold dust character, no matter what anybody thinks about it, man, did it. It was the wildest, craziest, weirdest like character you could imagine. But oh, it, yeah. it it was it got over. Oh, and yeah, it did. Yeah. It, it it made certain people feel uncomfortable. It made other people like hate hated it. Other people loved it. Um, you you know. I don't remember how many years ago it was at the Nine Line Foundation dinner. Yeah. This might have been the first one that I went to. Yeah, it was the first one you did come to, yeah. Because Dustin was there, too. Yep. And y'all had on the auction table a picture. God, I wish I'd have brought that picture. I've got one in my office. Yeah. So it's mankind has got how, how does we'll it go? put Man, this picture up for everybody yeah, to see yeah. and it's you're laying down on the and I, you're I, on i'm the on mat. the bad side i'm on the i'm on the worst end so of this picture mankind has the sock in your mouth mm -hmm. yes like i said and he's got the mask on mankind, and you've got yes. gold dust licking mankind's mask <laughs> who is laying on top of Excuse me while I go. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yes, there's these pictures out there, and yeah. Dustin signed them. You ended up signing it that night, and we auctioned it off or whatever. But reluctantly, uh, yes. Uh, what, I, what I do for you, to, vets, for, for what I the do veterans, for you vets, man. I tell you what. But that character, that that gimmick, uh, like you said, there were people. You know what I think is interesting is that character, the promos. You could say, especially early on, we're very similar to how like you and Jake the Snake and stuff had to cut your promos. It mm -hmm. was slow, it was methodical. You got quiet and would listen mm -hmm. to what Dustin said. Yeah. Versus the warrior and, and Hogan and stuff. Screaming with, and yeah, hollering yeah. and brother, brother. Yeah, and, and everybody yeah. would be cheering during the promo. Yeah. Everybody would get quiet during Dustin's promos. Yes. And I think that was something that was unique about him as well. I mean, he cut some phenomenal promos. Mm -hmm. He did. He, he embraced that character. Uh, he made it his own. Um, you know, a, a lot of people talk about me and my character and, and making it my own, but I mean, he did that with Goldust. Not a lot of people. Um, so, and, and you know, Dustin come from that traditional wrestling style too with his dad, you know, Dusty. Um, 
but uh, to go so far in, a, in, a, in another direction than, than, than Dusty or what Dustin had done up to that point, um, I mean, that, that, that's, that's a big roll of the dice. Um, you're looking for a job and Vince calls you, you tell, yeah, hell yeah, I can do that, yeah. you know, but there's some people that that, that that happens to and they get characters, they get gimmicks, whatever you want to call it. And you can tell they don't, they don't feel it. They don't, yeah. they half-heartedly go through it. And the next thing you know, their future endeavored, right? They're, they're looking for another job. Goldust embraced it. He made it his own and uh, he was great with it. I mean, he just, he did some really funny stuff. Uh, I, I just saw something come across a feed the other day. It was a backstage promo with him, Booker T and The Rock. And he was mimicking everything The Rock said and Rock, you know, Brock is such a, a, a awesome ad libber, and Booker is just funny. He yeah. just he's funny, and it was such a it was such a cool segment. And um, you know, of course, Dustin is obviously, or not, yeah, you know, he's the, the the blunt of both of these guys. Uh, you know, th their anger, but I mean, he's actually the star of the uh, of the promo. Yeah, and uh, that's just that's a testament to his ability and how he made that. And y'all had some great matches together too. We yeah. did. We, we, we worked together quite a, quite a bit. And, um, as I think that's how he got involved with me and mankind at that, that moment, we were either transitioning in or transitioning out of angles there. And, uh, I do, I, I have, I have some tights that I wore somewhere, um, in storage that actually, you can tell that I had tombstoned him because like the, the, the inside of my legs and everything are gold <laughs> from his paint. And uh, I, I remember we, we did Lost Treasures and I was going through some stuff and I pulled those out. I was like, look, the gold paint. These, I wore these <laughs> with gold dust. And so, uh, but yeah, he is, uh, uh, he'll, be, he'll be in there one day. Yeah, great uh, Intercontinental Champion. Yeah. Um, I, I do wish that uh, he could have got you know, the heavyweight championship at one point. I wish that that would have happened for him. And um, I agree with you. I think he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. I actually went to, um, you know, the other company's uh, pay-per-view out in Vegas and with him and Cody and the match that they, they tore had. tore it down, right? Mark, I'm telling you, I hadn't, you know, I hadn't been that involved in a wrestling match emotionally since I was like 12. Like, we were in the audience, we were behind hard camera, and it was, I didn't want the match to end. Right. I didn't want the match to end. Um, he gets color and gets way too much color. <laughs> like he, it was, well, it was that's bad. A, as, Hank, as Hank Jr. would say, that's a family tradition. <laughs> yeah. 